Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, amma ba'da habita fillah. It's imperative that the world has a proper understanding, and especially ignorant Muslims that follow deviant ideologies, that they understand that the leader of the so-called group, ISIS or Daesh or ISIL, is a pure, unadulterated coward. Because this deviant, wicked sinner, Fasik, and we have no hesitation in uttering those words, that this wicked demon that has deceived so many people to follow his group like a cult and blinded the youth into following that wicked ideology that this wicked sinful fasuk we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroys him and we pray we raise our hands to Allah the Lord of the world and all that exists that he subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliates this deviant and allows him to be captured alive at the hands of his enemies and put on his face before them. And then, maybe that Allah blesses him to repent and die as a believer and not a wicked deviant. So, this coward calls for the most criminal of acts and claims it in the name of Islam. And that is one of the most wicked, wicked of his crimes, is that he claims that these deviant actions, simple, wicked terrorism, actions that we have Aryan nations groups and other deviant wicked terrorist organizations that they use as their main tactics, which is also built on cowardness and wickedness. That he follows their sunnah. He doesn't follow the sunnah of Islam. And this coward hides behind his veil as if he is nothing but a simple woman. Not that women are simple, but that he is not living up to his potential as a man and leading and following the example as the Prophet ﷺ said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatu khulafa rashidin al mahdiin. The Prophet ﷺ said, It's upon you, my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiin. Hold, cling on to them, cling on it to it, meaning their sunnah, their way, with your molar teeth. When we look at al Baghdadi and his group, his organized nation of thugs, because in fact, it involves various idea, uh, nationalities around the world with a similar deviant ideology or those who are influenced by it. That these fusak, wicked sin sinners, fall prey to his cult-like personality and they follow him in his deviance. And why do I say deviance? Why do I keep uttering that he's deviant? Because here is a man who claims to be a Khalifa, claims to be a leader and a spokesperson for all the Muslims, doing the most wicked and sinful of back alley acts of terror, and claims to follow the Sunnah and the Khulafa Rashidin. And if we look to the example of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we look to the example of Abu Bakr, a Siddiq, and Umar ibn al-Khattab and Uthman ibn Affan wa Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in we see that they were leaders, they led and they weren't simple cowards that lived in caves in, in sand dunes under plants with gerbils and gophers decreeing chaos and fitna around the world calling for their followers to use knives and strings and, and bicycles and, and, and any means 
to attack and cause terror with their enemies, meaning everyone from humanity. This is the, the Sunnah of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. But we see nothing in common with Islam and the Muslims. And we ask that Allah Azza wa Jal gives him his rightful place in Jahannam. As the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam said about the early group who left the general ideology for Abu Bakr a Baghdadi to follow, which is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al Khawarij Kilab al Nar. That the Khawarij, the group that made tech, declared other Muslims to be disbelievers without any conditions for doing so, without the proper criterion for doing so, for the for sins that they committed, the major sins, that he follows their sunnah, and the Prophet ﷺ described them as the dogs of the hellfire. Why dogs? Dogs are in a lowly position. And he described them as the dogs of the hellfire. So not sufficient that they just were in the hellfire or anything, but they are the dogs of the hellfire. And this is what we see of Mr. Baghdadi, Abu Bakr, Abdullah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to rid us of his fitna and the fitna of his followers and the fitna of their future manifestations. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.